Following the outcome of the 18th March uh, governorship election that brought uh, Uba Sani of the All Progressives Congress as the governor of Kaduna State, the People's Democratic Party and its governorship candidate, Honorable Isa Ashuru Kudan, and uh, the Labour Party filed a petition challenging the emergence of APC at the governorship election. The chairman of the three-man panel, Justice Victor Viawe, after extensive deliberations, allotted seven minutes to examination in chief, 12 minutes to cross-examination, while three minutes were allotted to re-examination, respectively. Each uh, side has stated the number of witnesses it, it intends calling. Time was allotted for the witnesses in terms of the evidence in chief, cross-examination and re-examination. Uh, issues of documents to be tendered was also uh, deliberated upon and the tribunal gave a directive, a general direction that the trial would uh, take the bottom line being that uh, since election petitions are time frame, the bottom line being that uh, the petition should be decided within the time frame provided by the law. They are already before the court. But these are the, in the petition we complained about the non-compliance with the Electoral Act, essentially. That in our petition, we have asked the court to find a hold that then validated the process, the entire process. We are asking for the nullification of the election on the basis of massive irregularities, non-compliance with the Electoral Act, and indeed acts of corruption in the process. Also, the respondent of the APC, Sunusi Musa SEN, stated that the PDP filed its application after the stimulated time, thereby seeking for the dismissal of the petitions. File our reply to the petition. They now file a reply to our petition, which is also against the law, because uh, they have seen that uh, the petition they filed did not contain anything to support uh, the their prayers of wanting to uh, set aside the uh, the victory of our client. So we also ask the court now to to strike out that reply. We have also informed the court that we have another application that we filed to seek the dismissal of their petition, even at the preliminary stage. So the tribunal adjourned to 15th June uh, for continuation of the pre-trial. They will do justice to this case. As far as I'm concerned, they have done their own bit. We are not uh, comfortable with what they have done. That's why we are, at the, we are in the tribunal. So we'll wait and see. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.